Hi, welcome to another video from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how can we use and configure the APDS9960 gesture module. This is an RGB gesture module, so it can detect a movement at close proximity and also it detects ambient color with different features. So let's get started. Okay, as you can see, this is a module. The module is very tiny. It has few pins, and this is the actual sensor that senses the activity on this side. And these are the pins that uh, need to be configured. So uh, here are the, the pin configuration. So these are the configuration as you can see. So the first pin VN, uh, this will be connected to the pin 3.3 volts in your Arduino the ground G and D also to the ground and then we have clock uh, pen which goes to A5 and then we have data pen which goes to A4 this is uh, entrap pen this goes to pen 2 of digital these are analog these two A5 and A4 and then the pen 2 is a digital so this goes there Okay, so in order to get uh, the files for this, just type APDS99 uh, RGB9960 RGB gesture. So then scroll down and you can go to the GitHub, and this is the uh, file that you need to download. So let me download, click on download, and then save it. I'm saving it inside and my download I've created a folder called uh, Arduino and then saving it. I have already downloaded so I'm redoing it again. So once the download complete, go to the folder. So this is my Arduino folder and this was the file that I've downloaded. Okay, so let me delete the, the previous file structure that I have. Okay. I've also done my Arduino is here inside the Arduino folder. I've created, I've downloaded the actual Arduino 1.8, as you can see. So when for this and for this file, for both of these, these uh, because this is a zip, you need seven zip. So get seven zip from sevenzip.org, and then install it. So when I right click on my Arduino I created this folder so this is just uh, when I run run it I just double click here so this will run so I hope you have the same structure so or whatever wherever you have installed it uh, just know where is your Arduino so this is the master file the zip I right click and I see 7-zip as I said when, once you install 7-zip it will be available under the menu so extract so this will create so what i did was i click zip and then extract to the same name so now this is a folder if you go inside that folder you will see libraries and then you will see arduino inside arduino you'll see these files these files are required for arduino library these are the structure needed this folder this file and some other files so i'm just selecting it all right click and then copy, go back, find your Arduino, inside the Arduino find the library, and then inside the library just right click, new, and then create a folder. And I'm typing gesture sensor, and in the name of the libraries inside the um, uh, Arduino folder structure space is not allowed, so that's why I'm using underscore gesture sensor and then click on it, double click and open it, right click here and then paste it. So now we have these files inside the library of Arduino. So now I'm going back to Arduino and then when I open it. So this is Arduino 1.8. Click on the file, example, 
and then scroll down here you will see spark fun with all of this so the software is ready okay let's solder this one as you can see here I'm just putting the pen headers from the bottom okay so and then just hold it with one finger the last side and then just uh, apply so that uh, the pen that's not holding with hand because it's very hot okay now it's holding so we can proceed with the rest So all the pens have been soldered now. You see here. Okay, so this has been soldered. Such a way that the sensor is at the top. So this is the RGB sensor. So this is sensing. Depending on your application, I don't know if you need to put the wires this way or that way. So there, there will be a hole, so you can place it. This pen header comes with this, and we are selling this on our website, robojax.com. You can get it for around five or six dollars. Uh, it's very cheap. So let me just test it on uh, actual Arduino. My Arduino is already connected, so this is Arduino. This board is also sold on our website, and the driver for the USB is also under the download. Now here are the, the pen configuration for the board that I've created on uh, my computer. So the top pen, when you hold the uh, uh, is 3.3 volts. This is, uh, if you hold this like this, so that is a picture that you see there. So all the pens are on the left side and the two big holes for a screw are on this side. So now, these are the pens, so this goes for 3.3 volts. 5 volts will damage this according to the specification. The second pen goes to GND, so this is incorrect, GND, GND, which is ground. This is a clock pen, which goes, which goes to analog 5, pen analog 5A5. And this is a data pen, which goes to analog 4. And this is an trap pen, which goes for digital pen 2. Let me show you on the actual device. So, 3.3 uh, volts is here, okay? And then ground, we have multiple grounds here or here, doesn't matter. And then we have analog four and analog five are here. So analog zero, one, two, three, four, five, there are six. And then the digital pen number two is here. So let me connect this. So I'm putting it in a such a way that we have spot here to connect it so let me connect the 3.3 volts let me disconnect my board first so the top one is for the voltage so i'm connecting it to the 3.3 volts then i'm connecting the ground the second pin the ground can be anywhere but let me just select one of the ground here so does not matter, we have multiple grounds. And then uh, if you look here, this the third one, so the third the third pen goes to A5. So this one goes to A5. Uh, just click connected to A5. The last one here is A5. And then And then the data goes to A4 from the last second one. Okay, so then the last pin, which is this one here, this goes to pin number two. So you can see the two. Okay, so the pin two is here, and then analog four and five. 
they're all connected so now I will run the code and then we will see how this works so let me connect it let's run just small uh, simple blank make sure your board is working so basic and then blank I'm just loading the blank so the blink goes for one second on, which is high, and then one second off. Let me just load it. Okay, now as you can see, the LED is blinking. So this shows that our board is perfectly working. Now let's load the project the sensor test so let me just expand the screen a little and explain so these these are the value explaining each pen so the pen label and also the name the function and if we scroll down the only pen that you can change in terms of setting is the so we have the wire.h and sparkfan.h that's a header file for C in C language so the pen 2 is the entrap pen that is said here so you can set that and if you scroll down these other values that you can see these are being printed on the monitor so let me open the monitor here so when we run the project, so depending on your COM uh, communication port of your system, so the, you will see some numbers. So all these texts that I'm highlighting will be shown. But if, uh, so now this is up, down, left, right, far, near, and none will appear. So these are all the gestures that you will see. Okay, the project, so now I'm moving my hand to the left and then right, as you can see, based on the move, you will see different text displays. If I move just my finger, sometimes you get an error because the object or the gesture is not bold or big enough. So, and also keep in mind that this will work with proximity so it should be very close now let's split split the screen and now you can see it better again i'm loading it so let's just yeah so moving hand will print through the monitor so this can be programmed with uh, some robotics work loading and loading and machines and mm, way m with unlimited ways it can be used so at this point let me just change the left and right for the gesture sensor value let's say for the left I just put exit and then for the right and just put enter so let's say you're uh, tracking some object that's entering or exiting a certain area and the sensor is there so let's load the code again and let me open the monitor so the code is working now let's do it you see with the left and right you can see you see exit and So now let's try another project. So this time let's just try the color sensor or um, let's just try the proximity sensor. This time it just looks at a distance regardless of the direction of move. So I'm loading now. Let me open the com, the monitor, the, so you can see the text until the program is loaded it takes a while so 
So now as soon as it loads, because on top of the sensor there is nothing, you will see uh, small values. So as I get my hand closer, the maximum that we get is 255. So this is the same as RGB value. So as I move my hand up, the values become smaller. When I get closer, the value become larger. So you, once you program this and run it, you can find a correlation between the distance and the value, and you can approximately get the distance between the object and the sensor. So let's just play with it and see more with the behavior of this. So that is a proximity sensing uh, feature of this module, which is amazing. So now let's try the color sensor. So this time I'm just, just going to the spark fun and then select the color sensor. Okay, let me bring the screen on this side. And let's go through the color, uh, through some information from the code. So beside the b basic setup, so we'll see what it does it prints. It prints ambient. So it prints an ambient value and also red, green, and blue, which is RGB, depending on the sensing. So this will be printed in a serial monitor. And it waits for about one second and then gets the value again. So I'm loading now the code. And also let me show you the monitor. So every second it just prints regardless. Yeah, so these are the value for red, green, and blue. And so I'm just stopping it to see uh, to see what is the relationship between So I'm just looking at the value to see if I can find any relationship between those without looking at the code but it seems uh, I don't understand the ambient value which I will discuss and investigate later so let me bring a paper so okay so the paper changes the value and make them smaller for R, G and B that's uh, why so let's bring a calculator the calculator will make it too small because it's almost grey so the values are for R, G, and B, uh, maybe corresponding to the, the color. So as I move it up, the sensitivity changes and the value are different. Uh, that was a small introduction for the gesture sensor, but I will have a lot of projects related to this in the coming weeks or months. So if you like this video, please thumb up and also if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so now. Thank you.